If your Philips Google TV's apps are not working, such as Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and HBO Max, they won't open, not loading, feels laggy or crashes, then stay tuned and follow these easy steps to fix any Philips Smart TV app. If some app on your Philips TV is not working, then the first thing that you want to do is relaunch the app by force closing it. To do that, you'll need to open all settings. From there, go down to apps, and you should see the apps that are open under recently opened apps. Just select the app that you're having trouble with, select force stop, and press OK. Now it's terminated from the background and you can open it right from here and now the app should start working. But in case the app is still not working and it requires internet, then it may happen if your TV doesn't have proper internet connection. To check your internet connection, you can try streaming using a different app. Also if you have VPN, then it can cause some streaming apps to not work. So disable it temporarily. And also, wrong date and time can cause your TV's apps to stop working. So to check whether you have the correct date and time, you'll need to open all settings, then go to system, date and time. And from here, if you see the date and time is incorrect, you can either turn on use network provided time or adjust the time and date manually. If internet wasn't the issue, then the next thing we will do is cold boot our Philips Smart TV. You'll just need to unplug it from power. After that, wait for around 5 to 10 minutes. Then turn your TV back on. And I'm sure these steps has fixed almost everyone's app issues. But unfortunately, if you're still having issues and the apps on your Philips TV just won't work, then the last thing that you can do is hard resetting your Philips TV to default and set it back up. And to do that, go to System Settings, About, then reset, factory reset, factory reset again, and then erase everything. But as you can see here, you'll have to install all the apps one by one once again. But after that, hopefully, you'll be able to enjoy content on your Philips Smart TV just like you did before. So that's how you troubleshoot app problems on your Philips Smart TV. Let us know how it went down below, and if this helped, drop a like and subscribe for more.